What is up, guys? Look at what I am riding today. This is brand new 2022 Aprilia Tuono V4 Factory. And it is insane. I just, I don't even know what to say about it. It is so gorgeous. I did not think I was ever going to ride something like this, to be honest. Look at it. It's so sick. Anyways, um, yeah, we're just going to go for a ride. I rode it over here to this location, and uh, it is a beast. It's got the uh, stock exhaust, but it still sounds super good. Sounds really great, and it still pops when you're sh uh, shifting. It's got a quick shifter. Um, which I have never experienced and it was actually what I was most excited about riding this thing not only that I'm riding a an Aprilia Tuono oh my gosh it's just insane makes my FZ09 look like a little toy quick shifter up and down auto blipping um, I had not gonna mess with any of the controls I'm not really sure what they do. We are in sport mode though. And I'm just gonna be taking it easy. I'm just, I'm speechless. This thing is so sick. I'm not even revving it all the way up too. This thing has so much more to go, I just realized. I'm probably not going to be talking so too much because I'm just trying to figure out the bike. So obviously a 2022 factory. It's got all of the gizmos and gadgets and I have no idea. Launch control. That's what that does. Launch control. Um, yeah, I, you know, I'm not going to mess with it. I do want to see. Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. How do I set cruise control? I don't know how to set cruise control. What does that button do? That flashes my high beams. I can't imagine what this bike feels like with nothing, no uh, electronics. Like, if I turn everything off, no traction control or wheelie control. Man, it's just fun. The um, the downshifts are kind of weird. Like, you really have to, you really have to push your foot down. That's not like regular downshifting with the clutch. You really have to like force it. This thing is just so much more, I mean, I, I can already feel it in my shoulders because of how much more lean forward I am. But the bars are so straight and so wide still, it's kind of sick. This thing feels like, although the FZ09 is more comfortable, this thing feels like it would be better cross country. 
if that makes sense. Alright. See what I just saw? That's interesting. That wasn't even, I didn't even hold it there very long. It could go faster. I don't even know what to say. That just, that just, holy sh, holy sh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That accelerated so fast. Um, so if I, I don't know how the camera angle is, but uh, if you guys could have seen the speedo, I hit 168, I think, and uh, it wasn't even wasn't even trying. sounds so good gosh dang it I wish this bike wasn't so good cuz I'm gonna be asking to ride this thing every freaking day poor FC09 she's about to get really neglected I'm just kidding the FC09 is really fun this thing is just this thing I can't I don't I don't have words it's just uh, insane Man, that exhaust, even stock, this thing sounds so good. Just the red accents and the sparkly black 54 world titles, Aprilia. Does it fit? It does fit. No way, that's cool. On the FC09, you have to uh, hold this piece up because the gas tank is so, is uh, so weird. The um, the pump like hits the bottom of it, so you can't actually put it all the way in and just pump your gas. You have to like hold it up. It's really weird and really stupid. I mean, I guess you better be able to put the pump in correctly. This bike costs twenty five thousand dollars. Man, eighteen dollars to fill that thing up. <laughs> Crazy. Seventy-eight. 
Yeah, there's like a level of when you get to a certain RPMs, it just rumbles and you can actually hear the engine come to life right there. Otherwise, it's really quiet. It's right there at like 7,000. All right, guys.